Hi, I'm Doug from AppleiPhoneSchool.com, and this is i101 episode 15. Um, today, Apple announced a bunch of stuff, and so we're going to go through it real quick. Um, I got a few um, images here. I'm not really going to use the iPhone or the iPad really today because we're just going to talk about news. So, um, basically, they uh, showed iOS 4.1, so this is going to be for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and um, the proximity sensor issue is going to get fixed. I know that's a problem for some people in my family. They hold their phone up and they don't hold it close enough and then they touch it with their ear and it mutes it and touch it with their face and things like that. So anyways, that's just a software fix. Um, they're going to make that software work a little better on the iPhone 3G. People are having uh, real lag issues and uh, problems like that. So they're going to fix bugs like that. Then uh, one of the new features is called HDR. So um, basically, when you take a picture, um, you usually get the center picture where um, some things can be washed out and the sky is kind of messed up. And so what it does is it takes a normal exposure picture, then an under and an overexposed picture, and then um, you get this. So a normal picture would be the one on the left. The one on the right is the three combined. So you can see that the sky, um, you can actually see the sky, you can actually see shadows on the ground and um, it just blends them basically uh, all together a lot better so that's gonna be one of the features of the software um, and I'm pretty excited about that that may be one of the one things that keeps me from jailbreaking or it's gonna uh, I'm gonna want to upgrade to get that feature and then of course jailbreak will probably come out but um, we'll, we'll uh, worry about that later but um, oh, one of the uh, another one of the features is being able to upload HD video um, to like YouTube. Before you could um, up, upload your videos through the YouTube app, but it would compress them and it would uh, it wouldn't be the full resolution. So now, um, if you're on Wi-Fi, you'll be able to upload full resolution video, um, 720p, um, to different sources. So that's a new feature. Um, being able to rent TV shows, the new Game Center. Uh, it's going to have a bunch of new features, um, and they're actually well. They're actually going to release it to the public. Before it was just a thing for um, developers to mess with and, and work. But the cool thing is, is that you're going to be able to um, basically play against each other in games. You're going to be able to see what your friends are playing. You're going to be able to um, compare scores and all that kind of stuff. So. That should be pretty sweet. Um, this software, the 4.1, will be out, it says, next week. Uh, so for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, they're going to come out with another software, 4.2, in November. That's going to be for all devices, including the iPad, which will bring the iPad up to 4.0. And it's going to get um, all of these features that uh, come with the 4.1 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, and one of these features, too, is, called, is wireless printing. So um, you'll be able to now print from your iPad. I know this is... Um, some of our staff are looking at iPads, and to that's one of the main features that was causing us not to to buy one is because they want to be able to print from it. This thing needs to be able to replace, not completely, but um, for some people, it can replace a laptop if you're not doing a lot of production on the device. So if you're using it to check email, read blogs, print your files or whatever, but not necessarily create things, and you can create things on it, but... Um, it's just something that a lot of business people, especially older business people, would be able to replace their laptop with um, on the go. Way better battery life, of course, an iPad so than most laptops. And so um, so that's a major upgrade feature right there, I think, for me. Um, of course, it's going to get the folders and the backgrounding and all those uh, features that come with uh, the current 4.0 software. So that's for the iPad, and that's November. Um, another feature that they're going to get is called AirPlay. And what AirPlay does is it basically lets you stream um, files, so photos, videos, um, from your computer, music, from your computer to your device. So um, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone or iPod Touch, you don't have to have everything on there. You can have it on your computer and you can stream it to the device. So that's, that's pretty sweet. Um, they came out with all new iPods. Uh, they came out with a new... Um, iPod Nano. Um, they came out with the new, the new iPod, um, the little tiny one. Can't think of what it's called, but um, it doesn't really have it. It doesn't have a screen on it, so 
it's not going to have any of the App Store software. Now, the, the new Nano Touch um, looks like this. It's just a little tiny square thing, and it does have, um, you know, iOS software running on it, but it's kind of a custom software. It doesn't look like we can install any apps. I didn't see an App Store. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they started to come out with some little apps, but I'm not really sure what they could do with it. Um, you can see here the different apps that are available already on it, like um, the clock and the voice recording and the photos and things like that. But um, so far, it doesn't look like you can add any more apps. Now, I'm sure somebody would probably hack that, and we'll get some of that. But some of the features um, here, like the radio and uh, the pedometer, Nike Plus. Um, so they've just made it a lot nicer. It's touchscreen, of course. And um, yeah, it runs 24-hour 24, 24 battery life. So that's pretty cool. Um, the uh, big thing would be the iPod Touch. So the iPod Touch did get a lot of the features that we we're expecting from the iPhone 4. Um, it's got the Retina display. Um, it's got the A4 chip, the front-facing camera, so it can do FaceTime. Um, it's going to have the 640 by I think it's 640 by 480, the um, VGA camera on the front. The rear camera, it also has a rear camera um, like the iPhone, but it's not the 5 megapixel. So um, it can do HD video recording, which is pretty much what Steve Jobs talked about the whole time. He didn't really talk about being able to take pictures. It can do that. You can see that from their website, but the resolution is only 960 by 720. Of course, the 720 for 720p video, but um, the, uh, the iPhone 4 can take 1600 by 1200 resolution still images so it's not as high resolution probably did that because of cost but still to get the video in there um, I think that's that's not cool um, but uh, anyways that's that's what they gave so um, pretty much everything that we were expecting with that though it's pretty it's really thin uh, they made it thinner that may be another thing maybe for the camera I'm not sure they just wanted to make it thinner but um, so basically it's um, an iPhone 4 without the cellular, without the contract, but it does not have the cellular data. So it's not a 3G like the iPad, which I think would be really sweet if they did something like that. Um, I think they'd sell probably a lot less iPhones, but anyways. Um, then there is the new iTunes, which um, it has a ton of new features, but the biggest feature that affects the iPhone really is the social media aspect of it. So they're going to come out with this um, kind of like Twitter, Facebook thing where you can um, follow artists, you can follow your friends, um, people can follow you and you can see what they're listening to, what they're buying, what new albums have come out, and uh, you can uh, write comments and all that kind of stuff. So it's basically Facebook, but for music. And um, people can upload pictures and all that kind of stuff. And the cool thing about it, though, is that it runs on the iPhone. So it, um, I, he, Steve didn't say that it's going to run on the iPad, but I would assume it does. Um, but I just uh, haven't seen that, and I don't have it functioning yet on my phone. So I'm guessing that's going to come out when the software comes out with the new iOS. So um, that is iTunes. It has a lot of new things. They um, upgraded the logo. And, uh, oh, you can see concerts, too. The thing's called Ping, the, um, the social media part. It's called Ping, and you can also see concerts on there. So um, the last thing, really, that affects the iPhone or iPad or whatever is that Apple TV update. And it has tons of um, new features, but basically, um, as you can see on this screen here on the menu, there's a computer's... Um, option to where you can stream your media from and this is where I was talking about earlier is that you can stream video from a device now you can stream it to the Apple TV so if you're watching a video on your iPad you can stream it right over to your device I'm not sure how that's going to work with the iPad uh, that the screen's going to have to stay on if it can go locked into standby but still stream I'm not sure how that's going to work um, how battery life and stuff like that. I mean, the iPad has great battery life, so I think you'd be able to watch a movie, no problem, streaming to another computer. Not sure if there's how the lag is going to work. I'm sure they're going to cache and buffer things, but um, that'll be interesting to see how that's going to work and how things would work. Like, 
if you're streaming from your iPhone to the Apple TV and you need to make a phone call or uh, you're running a lot of processor intensive stuff on your iPhone at the same time, can you do things at the same time? I'm not sure. So um, we'll know all that once all that stuff comes out. I believe that iTunes is actually out. Um, I did see that, I believe it was Muscle Nerd, um, one of the, the, the hackers, um, said that as long as you don't upgrade to the new firmware come, when it comes out, the new iTunes does work with jailbroken iPhones. So uh, nothing to worry about there. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, just let me know in the comments and we'll try to catch it tomorrow. And uh, I do have another case. This is uh, to review. This is another eye skin case. And uh, I like it. I've got one flaw, but otherwise it's a pretty good case. But we'll go over that tomorrow. And then um, I did switch back to my Apple case on my iPad. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't hand, handle the, the uh, just too smooth, too slippery of a case from the one from yesterday. So I did go back to my um, Apple case. So that's it. Um, episode 15 of I-101. And uh, see you guys tomorrow.